Bears barely into attack so far. If Brisbane's confidence had been battered by their 103-point loss to the Blues in round 10, then Sydney star Warwick Kappa didn't do it any favours when he took the upper hand early in their round 11 clash at Carrara. Well done. Much too good for Mark Roberts, his former teammate. And Kappa now lining up for his 50th goal of this season from 20 metres out virtually directly in front and as comprehensive a victory in a one-out contest as you would see. Shouldn't miss this. And does it. The Swans get their second at the five and a half minute mark. Browning just tackles out to Morwood. Morwood steadies. Ugly looking kick over the back and Bolton can run into an open goal now. Dodges cleverly and hooks it back and does it well. Catch for Finch. Strongly met that did it brilliantly. Richardson steadies and shoots, and Richardson's a good finisher, does it well, and that's the Bears' first goal. And that was good, strong. Henwood's got the chance to hit it back to a teammate, which he does. Out wide it comes, and again the Swans go into attack, and Carroll steadies and sends a very long one, and Kappa, and Roberts did that one fairly well. Healy a left foot snap for goal, and Healy does it beautifully. He start to the season. Kappa comes from behind. The leap wasn't on that time. Browning could kick this and does. And the Swans have their fifth. Healy, destructive as usual. Clever hand pass to Williams. Back to Bolton. Healy was flattened there across the face. Out wide it comes and Coleman. Coleman to Browning. Browning props in front but is spoiled by Campbell. Picked up there by Buckley. Buckley then towards centre half forward. Good spoil by Hungard. Out wide it goes. And Philip Walsh will have a shot for goal. And Philip Walsh is normally a good shot for goal. And that was a beauty. Nice play by Harris. Stacey it was. Stacey's on the ground. And here comes Mark Williams. And Mark puts it through. Bays against Micken. Williams. Morwood. Beautifully done to Healy who can kick his second. Will kick his second. And this one's seventh goal. The first goal for the ball. Does it pretty well too and nicely on it goes. Down it comes from Fyland. And the call from Edmund was let it go. Then he hooks it cleverly across. Philip Walsh who's a wonderful finisher gets a long hand pass out. Hine in trouble. Hine well done. And out it goes and it's kicked through by Stacey. In this second quarter. Dangerous pass in from Roberts. He's tried it three times and this time it comes unstuck. Williams kicks a goal. The experts tell me he's only had 12 goals kicked against him in the last 10 match. Ten matches has really been quite magnificent. O'Keefe punches it out. Nearly a long one. Nice balking. Hand pass comes to Williams. Not been very conspicuous today. Back it comes to Healy. Here's the two who work so beautifully together. Williams then dodges cleverly, sends it beautifully to Morwood. There's no doubt about him when he gets the ball, he's absolutely dynamite. Out to Kappa, Roberts with him. Opportunity for a half trip. Turns and steadies, nobody in the goal square. Sends it downfield, Harris pursues it, the ball beats him through. And that's another goal to the Sydney Swans. From the centre, Ford at the centre after a run. And well taken by Stacey, my word he's got some courage. And that was as game as they come. And Kappa wins it, couldn't hold it. Opportunity for Buckley. Buckley tackled by Healy. Off the ground from Buckley, off the ground again. Down to the centre of the ground and here comes Carroll again. And out to Bolt, nobody with him. Will the ball stay for him before it goes over the line? He slips and gets it back. Picked up by Hawke. Free kick done. Free kick it was. To Bolt. Umpires signal the goal. Maybe the advantage rule was allowed, Kevin. Well, if that's the case, Doug, I, I don't think that's very good umpiring because the umpire came running in, indicating... We see Bolton there caught high. Now, he comes in indicating quite clearly that he's going to pay that free kick. Now, it's quite a while afterwards that he calls actual play on and I'll pay advantage. Now, if I was a Bears player and you saw the umpire or heard that whistle, I think you'd have every reason to stop. As Carter bangs it in that direction. Mickett in front, been quiet since half-time. 
Ooh, Fidge meets Williams solidly and made contact with the head. The umpire didn't see it. Reigns to full forward. Hine out of position. Where are the scouts? Plenty of them for the Bears if they're good enough. Stacey at the bottom of the pack as Williams is in trouble back up the field. Cap is being brought off by Hafey. It's happening left, right and centre at the moment. And not a bad move by uh, and Sydney Fitch is coach. reported. Fitch is reported. A young Sydney boy who looks like he's starting to really find his feet now. Williams the target. And what a target. Up with it or you'll lose it again. Micken's turning and twisting there. Just Furling don't know what to do with it. Eventually Micken does kick it out wide and the mark is taken by Reigns. He's one who can kick at long distances and he does give it a good kick too. Looking for Reynolds and what a lovely mark he is. Takes yet another one at the moment. Another short one out. Everything short play. Carlson out wide to Campbell. Campbell out to Mark Williams. Mark Williams sends it nicely down to Phillips. This looks more like it. He'll give it across to Garton. Garton can give it across to Neil Hine. Oh, danger. Danger. Browning takes him on. And the forward move is frustrated. Back to Williams it comes. Williams kicks perfectly to his great friend. Out to Healy. Healy steadies from 50 metres out. Sends it long, sends it strong and puts it through. Well, there's a contrast. Williams, ever cool and controlled. Tony Morwood, well done, Reynolds. Great judgment. Taken a lot of fine marks. Tremendous first half. Not quite as good in the second, but uh, the odds perhaps have worn him down. Good tackling on Merv Neagle, who goes back for more. Potter, Hawk, good work the Swans. Morwood kicks another one. Put Range short to Richardson, always short they are. It's pathetic. Picked up by Potter. Potter out to Bays, you watch him go for it. And he will thump at it. And there he goes, and there it's through. And they're killing it. Ball has been up on that forward line. Uh, Leading by six goals at the final change, the Swans put their foot on the gas in the last term, slamming on seven goals eight to two goals one to storm away to an emphatic 73-point win. And has he squandered this one? No, he's made it. Tony Morwood.